When I say that Taz is loud, I mean, just listen to that. Now I get it, I'm late. It's almost 10 on a Saturday morning. But as I was saying, it is Saturday and this is the day that I give myself a little bit of grace. And if I want to do other things in the morning instead of doing chores the first thing in the morning, I do. In case you didn't know, <laughs> even during the summertime, the mornings are super, super cool. And now they're making me look a li like a liar because they're being quiet now, the boys. But uh, believe me, they see me, they see me with food, so they know I'm coming. But anyways, here in the Oregon coast, every morning and every afternoon after four o'clock five o'clock on the hottest days it cools down but it cools down to the point that you need a hoodie and yesterday and pretty much the entire week even though it's been in the 70s in the morning the cool air and the humidity makes me wear um long sleeve sometimes even a jacket so Today I decided to do other things before doing chores. <laughs> now they're pretty upset with me. And just like that, they quiet down for the most part. <laughs> All they want is their food, their morning snuggles, minerals, you know, picky goats. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Black. Morning, Mr. White. Good morning, Clara. Hi, children. Good morning, nothing. Hi, Mama. I don't know what you're looking for. Yeah. Looking for the girls? Okay. I'll let them out. Just wanted to let you out with your babies first. You're so cute. You're so cute, Clara. You're so cute, Clara. That's a good mama. See, she's starting to show her little skinny self, although in the afternoon she does look a little bit more full. So I'm gonna do my quick, let me open the door, clean out. I basically just kick everything out. Ah, oh, my girlies, I hate it when they cry. Ah, uh, you guys broke something again? Uh, pregnant ladies. I am not feeling anything else. You guys have your fair share. You, you are the one that gets the most. Okay, so this is an empty dish. It's a beautiful day for foraging. I'd do that if I were you. But you can go eat your hay if you want. If Clara wants. 
she can go eat her hay. <laughs> they just follow each other nowhere. Hi, Mocha. Show me that belly, Mama. It's like, nope. I typically do a barn clean all day. Um, not deep, but you know, just kind of getting the top layer, the heavier part on the weekends. I do clean a little bit throughout the week, but on the weekends is the day that I clean most of it. And especially now that we are getting to the warmer weather, if you leave a lot of, uh, or if I leave a lot of that manure at the bottom, when I open the barn in the morning, it's steamy. And that's probably just because this is an enclosed barn or an enclosed goat house and it doesn't have the openings that a regular barn would have. But because of that, I have to pay attention that manure doesn't pile up so much that this turns into like a um, heater, basically. During the winter time, it's great, but not right now. So, she comes and pees right by me as I'm saying that. What do you want, Blue Mama? She is looking uh, big, but not ginormous. I mean, uh, when she develops what well, most goats develop, uh, that last big belly, it's typically the last month. So she still has like eight more days before she hits the month countdown and uh, but yeah she is showing kind of round and very very cute as I mentioned before Mocha is one of the does that gets extra needy when she's pregnant and she's been showing that she's been asking to spend more time you know being pet and kind of fighting with everyone for love but uh, for the most part she and you can see Annabelle she's starting to show as well but again, Annabelle is a month behind of Mocha, which I'm very thankful for. I really didn't think things through, apparently, when I was trying to breed Annabelle and Mocha at the same time. They're full sisters, and they come into heat almost, um, I mean, super close to each other. And the month that I bred Mocha, I tried to breed Annabelle too, but... Uh, it didn't work because it was the last day we were going through a winter storm and it was the last day that she was in heat so it didn't really work so, so because of that I had to breed her a month later so that was in January and that is why she's gonna be kidding the beginning of June I can't remember the exact date but I'm so happy that it worked out that way I I don't know if they can deal with two birds at the same time and if you've been watching Hands and Never Done Farms that's what they had to deal with once at least or you know and I did it last year they were bred at you know almost the same day and they kitted a day apart so first did Annabelle and if you missed that birth you should check it out I'll put it on the top of the screen and in the description box down below and then the next day was Moga who delivered the twins that are right here so yeah uh, I'm happy that it didn't work out the way I planned because it would have been a disaster so sometimes well, not that a disaster but it would be more stressful for me so because of that I am thankful that even though Annabelle is gonna kid in June and when it's hotter I'm thankful that we do get hot days. Mocha, be nice to Mr. Cat. Hey, Mocha. You okay? You okay, Mr. Y2? Come and help your brother, man. So it's, uh, you know, less of a worry for me to have them kid separately in separate months. It's going to help me um, kind of pay attention to each one of their kids, you know, if they have more than two it just it, it, it it's a different story in the pen and incorporating them and I know people do it all the time but for me it's different because I am different um, people have like 20 dose kid the same week 
and that's okay if it works for other people but for me I feel like it's, it takes me a little bit longer and I'm also kind of thankful that even though it's gonna be in June June is not our hottest month even though we don't get super super hot we get like two days maybe in the entire summer in the hundreds maybe 101 102 unless there's a heat wave we're typically in the upper 90s between 10 a.m. and 4 to 5 p.m. and then it gets cool um, cool in the 60s <laughs> so uh, I love that weather and I think it's perfect so even though you may struggle a little bit throughout the day with the heat you know that the, the goats are gonna be nice and cool with a nice breeze at night so So Clara has been a little bratty lately and she only wants to eat alfalfa which it shows in her belly in the afternoon but during the day they're just eating grass hay. Now she is going through the alfalfa that fell from the feeder and I just took out but um, yeah so she tries to get alfalfa in the, during the day and she comes to me if I'm around and she kind of is like okay take that garbage grass hay away from me but um, yeah no the the alfalfa that she's getting she's getting by herself at night and then the other ones who are pregnant and you know even the little girls are getting a little bit less maybe half of what Clara is getting at night too in their own stalls so of course this is going to be something that she doesn't want to deal with she doesn't really want to eat grass hay during the day but if she has no other option, then she gets used to it. Hi, my love. Hi, little white. Do you came here for your morning snuggle? Hey, morning snuggle. You're so cute. I love you, because you're a cute baby. Thank you for an ugly baby. I call you a little baby. Hi, happy. Just kidding, I want to give you a baby. Yeah, cool, you lady. Come in, come in, come in. Choking around, choking around, my boy. I'm choking around. You may know, have a good day with your brothers. Yeah, you've been playing with your brothers outside. I thought you're a good boy. I thought you're a good boy. I love you, but I was never the one to give up. I'm not gonna sit down because I have a lot to do. Kept on playing my ball. You're so, 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 thinking cute. I wanna come and kiss you all day. Kiss you all day. Kiss you all night. Kiss you all day. Don't, don't, don't. 